free click up versus paid click up is it worth paying hi guys welcome back to the youtube channel and in this video we will be tackling about getting free click up or should you spend money on click up so with no further ado let's get started so first is you have to go to your browser and click on click up now if you click on pricing you will see here all the plans that they offer they actually made a very good offer so if you pay annually you will save up to 45 percent for monthly then it could be also a good thing if you are planning to not use click up for the long run so here you will see this one and these are the offers for free so the free edition of click up has a surprisingly number of features given that it is for free so making it suitable for some small business owners, freelancers, and solo workers. Now, many project management systems limit the number of users who can utilize their free account, but not ClickUp. However, the commercial edition provide a number of features that may be critical to your project management, such as the limitless storage in the long run of using ClickUp. So if you're just planning to just try out and see if click up is suitable for you then i highly recommend you to not spend yet but as soon as you get into it then i recommend you to pay for a plan here depending on your choice so if you have a small team then you can avail the unlimited plan up until the enterprise so as we all know the more we pay the more benefits we get so here are the complete feature for the different plans now you will see here the tasks are unlimited so you can add many tasks as you want but the spaces are limited when it is just for free and you may be needing more than five space so you have to avail the plan because it is now unlimited but if you're just starting a small business then there is no problem in using the free plan so as i have said the free plan for click up is actually a good deal since it has a lot of benefits that you could actually get for free for example you could list up until 100 per space add 400 folders per space your custom views are unlimited and for essentials this one you are constrained with the file storage which you could only use up to 100 mb now when it comes to project flow and organization the free edition is likewise constrained so you can establish the five areas in free edition which is how do you segregate the project flow on the site so each space is its own page so custom fields are limited as you can see here it is only limited to 100 uses or you could only use it 100 times so the unlimited usage is included to the premium plans here as you can see it's already check marked so there is an unlimited access for custom fields in unlimited business business plus up until enterprise so this is important to remember because if you're working on a large scale or sophisticated project with a lot of custom fields then you quickly run out of uses and you will need to upgrade so if you scroll here there are limit in white labeling there is no column calculations there is a limit for doc tags you cannot publicly share everything view for teams team sharing guest visibility it is constrained when you avail the free plan so here on the software integration it allows you to link your file straight from the dropbox and google drive it is one of the more useful aspect of the commercial application so the unlimited subscription allows you to grant user guest access here the guests are allowed to get an access when you avail the unlimited up until the enterprise 
So there is also an infinite read-only option which you can use to share your project with a freelancer or contractor. So although the unlimited plan may be appropriate for small business owners wishing to switch from free to greater storage, here, you are only limited up to 100 MB. Now, if you avail unlimited up until the enterprise, you will have an unlimited file storage. So this one, the business plan. So as you can see here, the business plan, for example, includes enhanced security features such as two-factor authentication up until the enterprise. So a higher number of automation, limitless activity views compared to 7 days with the unrestricted plan, and unlimited use of timeline and workload views compared to the 100 uses each for unlimited plan. Now, if we scroll all the way down starting from the integrations, the free plan will actually have no access for Google Drive, Dropbox Cloud Storage, OneDrive Cloud Storage. And for the security for the free plan is it does not require a two-factor authentication which makes it kind of weak for a security for the free plan. And you cannot sign in using your Google or your Microsoft, your custom SAML. And basically more of this up until the support so if you want to have a strong security and a strong support then I recommend you to avail business plus or enterprise now you may be wondering what is the difference on business plus and enterprise as you can see here they are almost equivalent to each other but when you go here to the security and the support they actually have a huge difference the few distinctions between the business plan and the enterprise plan as you can see here the business plus and the enterprise are enabled to the single sign on or the SSO. But the problem is in Business Plan, it is only for Google single sign on. While for the enterprise, the plan does not limit the SSO to Google. And as you can see here, you could use the Microsoft, Custom SAML, Okta Single, and so on and so forth. Additionally, the Enterprise Plan also offers the HIPAA compliance, as you can see here, for companies that require this for security. And basically, that is all about. Now, in total, if you are just starting off your business, then I recommend you to use this. But in the long run, maybe you will run out of storage and the like. Then you might be needing this one. And these plans depends on how huge your team is. If you're wondering, is it worth paying, then it is actually worth paying you don't really need a big money to buy a plan and click up and basically have these benefits now we have known about the free click up versus the paid click up and if we pay for the click up is it worth paying i hope this video is beneficial to you Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and leave a comment below with the best tips and tricks that I have taught you in this video. Also, please share this video with your friends and family as well as other creators so that you may help them as well. So I hope this was useful. And please leave a comment below if there is anything else you'd want to contribute and I'll see you in our next video. Thank you for watching.